Today we're taking a look at the two most common problems with the Canon T90. It's the triple E error and also the blinking cursor error. Both errors appears when you turn on your camera and try to take a picture and nothing happens. In this case, it's the blinking cursor that appears by your display here. And when it's the triple E problem, it usually appears somewhere around here. You can also read out help in your viewfinder. These two problems is typical to the T90, but fortunately it's quite an easy fix. The only thing you need is a screwdriver, another screwdriver or a flat screwdriver, and some type of uh, magnet. You start off by turning off your camera, taking out your battery, and then flipping your camera facing towards you. We're going to start by taking these three screws out. The whole procedure we're going to do is behind this front plate, so we need to remove it. And when the three screws are removed on the front, there's two additional screws here and here. The thing is, you have to be careful because this is the latch to open the back. So, like that, which means that this button is spring loaded. What you can do is you take these screws out just a bit and then try to easily bend this part up. I'll show you. So just take them out a bit so they don't turn completely loose. And you see here now that this, this part has started to get loose from the front panel. So just ease up the screws enough so they don't fall off. What you do then, you can probably take something small, like uh, this for example, or a small screwdriver, something plastic. You put it in between here, and then you can slide it through here and bend gently upwards. And then you see this coming loose. And then you just put it to the side. And this exposes the front of the camera. What I usually do now is I tighten these screws because I don't want them to turn loose and that button to just fall off, dropping on the floor or something like that. Now when the front cover is gone, you insert the batteries once more, so the camera will have power. Like this. And the first thing you do is you tighten these four screws. Just check so they're tight enough. Now what you do is you turn the camera on. Nice. Put it like this, you have your shutter. And then you take your metal screwdriver, magnetize it, charge it up. And then on the bottom right here, you push it in to a little metal piece you can see here. And then fire off the shutter. And voila, what we do now is you turn around, shut it off, remove the batteries. We remove the batteries because we're working with metal equipment during assembly and disassembly. Um, so just a safety measure if anything happens. The thing you do now is you loosen up these two screws again so you can put back the front plate. And important now, the front have a depth of field button. 
this one is going to be at the right position. So basically you insert it like this. It's a bit tricky. Just check so it aligns on the left side here. So align it, make sure that your latch here is to the right. Then you push it down like that. And now make sure that your right side here, push it down there. And after that, you hold it there and then you tighten the screws. Check that your the depth of field bottom is working. Seems to be working. Great. And what you do next is you put back the rest of your screws into the camera. The next thing you do is you insert your batteries again. Put it like this. The important part now, you've done the whole procedure, everything is and done. But the thing is, you kind of need to continue to use this camera for it to work. So this won't happen again. You magnetize it, but you need to keep it working because this camera works best if it's used continuously. So basically, put it on. Take the wing. Here you can choose how many frames per second you want to use. Push that to high. And that is basically, see, this point here, this little cursor moves if I push one. So put it to high and then fire off. Basically, when you uh, have fixed this camera, it's, it's not that hard of operation, but maybe it's not that fun to every time this camera stops working, you need to do this again and again and again. So basically, the following days when you have fixed this camera, take it up, fire it off maybe 10 to 20 times. And just keep doing that for a couple of days, because then you'll be sure that, yeah, it will work longer. Uh, and if it doesn't work, just do this procedure again. Basically, these errors occur because either the magnet has stopped being magnetized or that the screws have gone loose. So the best way to keep this camera working is by using it. But because it's an old camera, these errors usually appear because the camera hasn't been used for a long time. I hope this video helped someone fixing their camera. If there's any questions, just well, hit me up in the comments and uh, go out, take some beautiful pictures with your camera.